Hi, I'm Janelle Collard. I'm here today with Wayne Peterson. Wayne is one of the team that brings you the We Seek to Serve and the Thoughts from a Master dot com websites. And Wayne today has agreed to allow Lord Maitreya to speak through him and, and update us on what's going on. So thank you for being here, Wayne. Thank you for having me. Is there anything you'd like to say before we go in, before we speak to Maitreya? Um, just that uh, uh, there is a definite uh, powerful energy when <coughs> most of these masters come in. Um, those who have been a voice for various masters to speak to for some time can recognize the quality of the energy and more or less know where it's coming from. So <coughs> when I invite Lord Maitreya to speak, usually is what happens is it's quiet and then suddenly there's this powerful inflow of energy which sort of makes me react like, you know, <laughs> I jump, my body jumps, it's feeling it. So if that's noticeable on camera, that's simply energy coming or energy going. Mm -hmm. um, it just depends on, um, it's, it's as powerful when it breaks off as when it begins. So, um, How does that feel when he just goes away? <laughs> like, no, it doesn't just seep away for me. It's like closing a door all like, at once. So uh, he's over you, he's over you, right? That's right. When he's there, he's there. When he's not, boom, it's over. Back to Wayne, huh? That's right. so interesting. So, wonderful. Well, if you are ready and Maitreya is willing. Well, let us um, invite Let's Lord Maitreya in and uh, let us see what happens. Okay. <coughs> All right. <coughs> yes. Well, thank you, first of all, um, Lord Maitreya, for being here. We always appreciate hearing from you. And um, I guess my first question to you is, we're halfway through the year now of 2013. Um, can you tell us what changes are coming up in the near future? As, as many know, there are many changes that will be taking place quite rapidly in the coming months. This we might call an opening or suddenly allowing humanity to know that something unusual is taking place in their lives. We, the community of masters, do have a plan, and that plan does include a rather rapid change in how our civilizations on this planet were developed. It is time to develop new civilizations. Why? Because there has been a change in human consciousness. We could also say there has been an expansion of human consciousness we believe the first signs of humanity understanding this is that they will become quite dissatisfied with the way things are being run by the leadership of all the various institutions on the planet. <coughs> the very fact that humanity will recognize that they are dissatisfied 
they will begin in any manner possible to try to change the way we have seen our civilization work out. By this we can especially begin to see this in the economic sector, then the political sector, and also you will feel it even if it's a bit later in the religions of the world people will want to see something far more logical than what we have at the moment. The first question most people would have is how is this going to affect humans directly if we have such major changes beginning to take place. There is no doubt that there is no smooth transition, mainly because we are deleting all the old institutions built on an old consciousness that is 2,000 years old. It is now time for new institutions that are being built for the new consciousness. Let me say that the most important points here will be working in harmonious groups, working in groups in ways we have never done on this planet, and also developing new, let's call them new technologies that we can hardly dream of in today's civilization. This in the ancient days would be called an era of magic and to many computers and the internet is magic but it is the basis for creating a new civilization so that the new technologies can be brought forth quickly. They could be brought forth right now, but humanity has yet to work harmoniously with each other and we cannot afford people trying to create war with these new instruments of technology. But we believe our plan will succeed because that plan involves all of the community of masters to work very closely with groups on planet Earth. It is the masters who ultimately select those they wish to work with, but in addition, the humans must be willing to cooperate with the community of masters. It must work both ways. Are there more specifics you would wish to get into? Yes, there are. <laughs> um, 
When you talk about the breakdown of civilization in order to re rebuild, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, are you talking about revolution? Or is this peaceful? Uh, most of the time we, we go into revolution when we have to make massive changes like this. You are correct in that you have touched upon one of my greatest concerns. There must be an attempt to avoid something like another French Revolution. Right. That did no one much good for a very long time. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the shift in consciousness and the desires in the hearts of humanity will be equally, equally strong as the willfulness that the French revolutionaries had. But we, the community of masters, have a plan to prevent too much serious disruption. The best route would be for humanity to listen carefully to the suggestions we have on dealing with breaking down the old civilization before we can fully implement a new one. We do not have the time to stretch this out to allow people generations to make the changes. Practically we only have a limited number of years and the changes must take place. Why, why is it a limited amount of years? I understand that you're here for the next 2,000 years. What's the hurry? All of these changes are now possible only because we are being given a great gift of a special energy from great avatars who have been called in to help. This energy is only available <coughs> for a short period of time. When that portal closes, the energy that will propel humans forward to make these changes will weaken to the point that we probably could not make the leap that we see or that we have planned. These energies work on the human mind through psychology and right now it's affecting the psychology of humans worldwide and if you notice watching the news worldwide you'll see there is considerable unrest. People may not know what they want yet, but they know they don't like what they have now. When the right political and economic leaders come forward and present a logical plan, then definitely more of humanity will begin to understand exactly how much needs to be done. Uh, it is not going to be 
a easy shift. There will be much trauma. There will be disruption. But we do not wish to focus on the negative aspects because if we do things correctly and work together, we have a very good chance of making a fairly smooth transition. And that's what we hope for. Well, I would think, or I'll ask you, um, that technology is going to be a big savior to us because with these civilization breaking down, to me, when revolution happens is when people can't feed their families and, you know, when there's so much corruption or they don't have, there's no jobs. And so I would think, I would hope that we, we need to feed our planet. We need clean water and we need to be fed. And is technology working on those things? Yes, because even today, multiple thousands die every day from lack of food so we are not currently taking care mm. of everyone in fact some live well some live on the margin and some fall far short of what is adequate this must be changed but your current system has no ability to deal with this we must have a new civilization that knows how to deal with this in a way that is manageable because the new technologies then certainly can come forward and express themselves. Yes, even in the plant kingdom there will be genetic changes to more easily produce the food humanity needs. This is all not far away. It is simply a matter of humanity understanding what is happening. And therefore, in the coming months, we do hope to encourage humanity more directly and let them know that there truly is help that has arrived if they cooperate. Well, speaking of that, um, you know, we have our monetary system is what really carries the power in our civilization and there's so many who do, do not want to see free energy or food because that's how I make my billions and so um, to me that's a huge issue and so to take that further my question to you would be how are these masters going to be working with humanity what does it look like are they sitting on boards of directors are they um, you know, they're just whispering in our ears, or, or is this, you know, what's the nuts and bolts? What does this look like with, with the masters working with us and the off-earth allies? This is a complicated topic. <clears throat> the short answer, of course, is yes to everything and also no. It is true that some members of the hierarchy have already taken on physical forms and are walking about on the planet. But I don't believe anyone really knows about this or understands it. And therefore, we are going to have to present them to humanity in a special way so that people will understand that yes they are here. We have a lot of help. 
more help than people recognize. But up until now, we have waited to see exactly how humanity could come forward on their own willing to make the changes needed without undue pressure from the community of masters. Much has been changed since the mid-70s. You must remember the world was quite a mess. The Cold War was in full bloom in the 70s. And then suddenly, Gorbachev and Reagan stepped forward and eventually Russia voted out of power the Communist Party. South Africa suddenly had a black president. There was no massive bloodshed in either case. The old China of Mao that was totally closed to the outside world. I need not tell you China today is nothing what it was like 30 years ago. So much has changed. Just 30 years ago or more, in almost all the countries in Latin America were in fact dictatorships. This is no longer true, even as 20 years ago or more, democracy has spread. The voice of the people is being more fully heard. People are less willing to be led by these demagogues who would say anything to place them in a position of power. All this must end. People must stand up and think for themselves, and I believe they will. We are very used to having leaders to lead us, and so um, do you feel like there's new leaders coming, or is it more, I know you talk a lot about working in groups, but we still need somebody organizing, someone helping. Surprisingly, the new leaders are in fact here. They are ready, but at the moment, their colleagues who like the old way of doing business are not willing to allow them a voice in the arena of politics, in the arena of economics, or for that matter, religion as well. Those leaders will start coming forward because the message they have fits the psychological beliefs that humans are now being saturated with. There is this new energy psychologically bending them toward a new view of how things can be done on this planet. Do not allow people to tell you this is just another utopian plan and in the past such plans have never worked. This is not, in fact, a system. It is truly nothing more than a new outline for humanity to live cooperatively where everybody can evolve and receive what they need.
it may sound utopian, but it is not. And as you begin to live this, people will say, why couldn't we have done this hundreds of years ago, even thousands of years ago? The reason is the energy was not there. The proper energy was not there. It is here now and we must take advantage of it quickly or it will pass us by. With this new civilization, it's always kind of confusing to me. You say it's not utopian, but what is it supposed to look like? What is it that we're trying to do? Just have a better quality of life? If we begin to learn that it's not just humanity who is raising its consciousness but also everything on the planet and in the planet, which you may call Mother Nature, has taken a great shift forward. You are going to see tremendous changes in Mother Nature. It will work far more harmonious than ever in the past. The animal kingdom will be different. And some of these changes you might find shocking, but it's all according to a plan. Humanity is what we are concerned with because humans have free will. They can reject our plan. The animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, <coughs> the <coughs> Mineral Kingdom does not have that free will and it will proceed forward with or without their judgment placed on the plan. Humanity, however, can resist. They can reject the plan. As foolish as that would be, Humans often make foolish decisions. We hope to demonstrate to them that they must make this shift and must do it now. And the way they will see this is it will become very clear in their eyes that the old is dying and it's dying very quickly and it simply no longer functions. This will be the key issue. Humans will say, there is something wrong. It does not work the way it's expected to work. And the gurus of finance can no longer play their games and keep all the pieces moving to what they want. It will be the only way that humanity will be able to say we must give up on the old and ask those people who understand this to come forward and show us the way. And that, I do hope, will begin to be very obvious before the end of this year. Incredible. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say to us before we uh, say goodbye? May I say that the one way we have at the moment to get our message out is by people such as yourselves putting these films out on YouTube 
and making them available to the general public. This may not sound like a very big step forward, but believe me, it is far more important than you may be able to understand right now. So, before you see some of the masters in public, people will have this opportunity to be forewarned about what is coming. And when there are major changes, there are always people who become very confused and do not know exactly where to go. It is your work that will give them hope that this is a temporary difficult period and the sooner everybody cooperates, the sooner we can go into a much better civilization, a much better world. That would be my message. Do you see maybe the masters and, and yourself doing some types of trainings that people can, um, you know, really hands-on trainings of what the new civilization, of how to get to the new civilization? We have our students. We have been training them for a long time. And you might be very surprised who some of our students are. You would know their names. Some of our best students are quite well known to most of the world. This should not be a surprise that when the time is right they will come forward with a new message and you will wonder why you have never heard this message from them previously. These students disciples of ours are preparing for the day when they will have to speak publicly on what they have known for 30, 40 years and everyone will be surprised. But we also have students who are not well known in the world and they too will come forward. So there are the students and those who wish to work with us, all you need to do is ask. Be sincere in asking and we will present you with a project. Excellent. Well, I take it you're not going to out anybody today, but uh, we're going to be looking for those disciples and teachers in the near future. And um, Lord Maitreya, thank you so much for being here today. And um, if you'd like to hear more about Lord Maitreya, you can go to WeSeekToServe.com and also ThoughtsFromAMaster.com and uh, keep up with this work. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you. Thank you indeed. That was longer than I expected. Yeah, that was very interesting. He had some, uh, some new news. Yeah. So thank you so much, Wayne. Thank, thank you, you for your work. We really appreciate it. Thank you.